Yes, two vlogs this week. Look, you guys, I'm trying to make up for the time of me not recording. Um, <clears throat> I know, I know a lot of you guys watch my videos. Just to cheer yourself up. Um, there's a young lady who posted. <clears throat> excuse me. She wrote <coughs> a week ago that she's deployed in the military, and she watches uh, my videos when she's done with her shift and I was like okay you know let me go ahead and put out another vlog for them or at least um, record so I can have another vlog going on later this week so still the week before the trip girl we're literally two days away from the trip it is Sunday and today I just decided right now we're gonna do a spa day I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go to the gym now we need to work it out and go to the gym sweat it out for a while just have one errand to run to pet code to pick up this look y'all I'm not a pet person people like they're either a cat person or a dog person I'm neither one Miss yeah, Jackson like, don't do pets you're a fish person I'm barely that child <laughs> you have to change off the filter I mean you gotta feed them every day then you gotta change off the filter every week then you gotta change off the water at least 25% of the water on a weekly basis then you gotta test the water I'm like Phew. so I couldn't have a cat or a dog and feed them every day uh, walk them I don't think you have to walk cats <clears throat> but you gotta do stuff with them I'm not no one's doing dogs or cats can we get <laughs> and of course we have allergies at least I I do, which is um, really the saliva. The whole anyway, family has allergies. Child, yes. So anyway, um, what's the point, girl? You gotta go to Petco. I said all that to say this. Gotta go to Petco to get a, a filter, and that's it. It will be a spa day. I'm going to soak in a nice calming bath with some lavender oil, some Jesus oil. No, um, not some Jesus. Uh, Jesus oil. oil. <laughs> some frankincense. And um, no, maybe a little bit of sandalwood. <laughs> yeah, I was not playing about my spa day to myself. It is one o'clock. My husband just left. JP is in the back doing God knows what. I have some brown sugar here. This was a gift that they made during Mother's Day this year, and so I put some brown sugar in it. This was already a sugar scrub, but it's more. It's liquefied because it's still hot here in Phoenix. We're in the hundreds still, so some more brown sugar and I put some lavender oil I'm gonna go ahead and put some drops of lavender oil into my bath real quick hold on That was relaxing. Or relax. I know my hair looks a mess. Speaking of my hair, I'm not looking forward to doing my hair, y'all. I'm not looking forward. So I'm going to take down these twists today. And then tomorrow I'm going to pre-poo. going to try to record a chit-chat video for y'all. But if I don't feel like it, please understand. Um, pre-poo tomorrow. And then washing my hair. Sorry, y'all. Washing my hair and Yay. doing um, the blowout on Tuesday before we leave. So yeah, that, that bath was amazing. And I've added a little sparkle to my thumb and my middle finger. So y'all, it's dinner time and it's one of those nights or days where everyone's having something different. Well, not really, because my husband's not here. I went ahead and cooked his lunch for the next few days. This is just chicken and cabbage with um, peas and carrots. I do have a video on how to do it. And it's going to look different because I cook things differently all the time. Now I wanted black bean and corn tacos for tonight. And JB wanted pancakes, so 
We're sitting at the dinner table. JB, you want to come sit down? Uh-huh. These it's are so mine. important to eat at the table, or I should ask, why did you want to eat at the table? Because I, because I lost, I actually, we don't, we didn't use, we used to eat at that table, but I really, but I, do you know what? I want. I didn't want to eat anything because I wanted to go over this table. Mm-hmm. And and other people go to to their dining tables when it's when it's lunch. Okay. So you think it's not a good idea to eat in front of the TV? Yeah. Yeah. It's best to eat at the table like a family. Mm-hmm. Your pancakes good, baby. Uh huh. Yummy. Pancakes, your favorite food? One of your favorite. <laughs> One of my favorite. One food. of your favorite foods. One of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. My favorite food is candy. I mean, candy. Not candy. My favorite food is. Um. I know what it is. Raisin cane bread. Yeah. <laughs> or in other words, garlic bread. Texas toast. Actually, my favorite food is cereal. Cereal? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you don't even eat it that much anymore. Like you don't eat it that much. It's still your favorite food. Mm-hmm. What type of cereal? Apple Jacks. Mm -hmm. Actually, I mean fruit, fruit loops. Dry fruit loops. Dry fruit loops, no milk. Yeah, I like fruit loops too. My favorite cereal is actually Captain Crunch. Oh, jeez, I don't oh, like Captain Crunch. I love Captain Crunch. Are you excited about our trip to Texas? What's the most thing you're looking forward to? What's the, what's the one thing you're excited about? Water! Water in the indoor pool. You guys, we're going to be staying at the Anatole out in Dallas, Texas. My husband is such a good man. He, I told y'all a few vlogs ago, he saw my eyes lit up at the renovations they've done. So he went ahead and booked us the executive suite. <laughs> executive suite. Um, so, yeah, really excited. We've stayed there before, but not at the executive suite. Y'all, I ate fast. I look light bright. Y'all know I don't like to be looking at no red bone. Um, sorry, fair skinned African American woman. <laughs> um, spoke to my mom yesterday because it was my aunt's funeral, and finally was able to speak with her about what my aunt passed away of, and it was blood clots. I, I Apparently, we well, go get you another one. Apparently, um, people who have lung, so it basically was attributed to the lung cancer. Um, when you have lung cancer, blood clots, or uh, my last one, a symptom, I guess you could say. So, but she was ready to go, um, and I didn't realize she was seventy six. She looked good. I was telling my husband she was in her late sixties. I told y'all seventy six. So she, if I remember correctly, she was the oldest one. Um, but they're so close apart. I mean, my grandmother was having kids for twenty years straight. Yeah, yeah girl, I know eighteen, twenty, about eight. No. 18 years straight, same thing. What? 18 years straight, she was having children, and um, a lot of the times, two years apart. So, I didn't realize that she was the oldest one. I thought the aunt that was caring for her was the oldest one. Excuse me. So, when I spoke to my mom yesterday, I said, Wait a minute, Aunt Kathleen was 76. I thought Aunt Dot was older than her. And she said, Girl, I thought so too. Don't do that, baby. She said, Girl, I thought so too. We laughed so hard at that. So, um, yeah, it, my, my the family was upset about it, but she was ready to go. And you know, I said, well, when she, if she's ready to go, meaning once she got the cancer diagnosis, she was like, I've I've done everything I did. I've had a long life. Seventy six is a long life. Um, I've had a long life. All her kids are grown. No one has any issues. She doesn't have anyone to take care of. You know, grandchildren, great great grandchildren. She's done. You know what I mean? She's she's retired. She's been retired. So I told my mom, I said, oh, yeah, well, then if she's mentally, she's she's okay and ready to go, 
yeah, it, it's she's not going to fight to live, basically. And that's what another aunt said, that, you know, once someone has made up their mind, Welcome to the world. That's right, JB, basically. <laughs> wow, that's the word, JB. Amen to that. Welcome to the world. On that note, this Sunday is done. I want to just do a Sunday vlog for y'all. He's so sweet, y'all. He, he was crying earlier, and now when he... My heart hurts. Now when he cries, he puts his head, he puts his hands, his little bitty hands over his eyes, and he cries in his face. So it's really hard for me now to basically I give in. I give in. And on I feel stuff. my eye like rumbling. You feel your eye doing what? Like when I put my eyes on my one of my hands on my eyes, I feel my eyes rumbling. Rumbling? Rumbling? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Trembling, Crying. moving, moving. Oh. It means ah. Quick question. So you're so sweet, Jamie. So why can't you be good? That's the question. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so another question. What do you like the most about mommy? Boobs. All right, y'all. That is it. <laughs> Boobs. 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 Be, be, be quiet. Boobs. All right, y'all. On that Boobs. note, see y'all in a Boobs. couple of more days. Boobs. Bye.